Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Roz, aka Elise's on there. Anyway, um, telling you guys how to be a jumper today. Uh, I've made a video before on this specific game. Uh, this one, um, it, I made the jumper right when the game was available for download in Google Play. So I made the video then. So I, like I said, I was going to tell you guys there were some things I was going to have wrong, and there were some things I was going to have to find out, and I was going to make a new video about it. Cool. That's this video. So I found out some more things. I'm pretty sure there's still some more things that we can do as jumpers and some other things uh, that need to be assessed because I haven't pushed this one past the um, threshold. But anyway, we're going to get right into it. Since you're here, uh, just to let you guys know, we're going to be doing a $100 giveaway. And in the next video that we post, uh, we will be telling you guys the information and details on how to win that. It's only available to our subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber, hey. Um, anyway. We're gonna go ahead and get into it so let's say you already have a regular account and you don't really want to be a jumper because it seems boring because you know a little bit about it all right that's cool uh, but I do recommend starting a jumper account so what you do is um, you know the minimum thing that you that you're gonna want to do while having a jumper account if you're not trying to put time into it really is at least get things collected over time so <clears throat> at the first start you're going to be farming your, your hero. You're going to want your hero to be, or on the, I'm going to be calling things Game of War, uh, like phrases or, or titles. Like these warp stones, I'm going to be saying gems. I'm not going to be saying warp stones. I'm not going to be saying champion. I'm going to be saying hero. So this is your champion, but I'm going to be calling a, a, a hero most likely because I'm like, I've been playing other games. <laughs> but I will call it a champion when I remember. Anyway, uh, so what you do is with your with your hero here or your champion you have this blue crap and this stuff is uh like soul essence or something or stamina or yeah add stamina yeah that's so stamina so anyway when that fills up or gets to enough all you really want to do is you know hop on here and find some monster things to go attack use your use your energy uh learn how much energy it's going to take to get certain level monsters killed so that you can do it the most effectively get more hits in and get more more alliance spoils your alliance spoils are going to be when you go join an alliance and i'll join an alliance here in a second um when i show you guys the next one of the other things you can do uh so um so get your get your hero going out send some troops out to go collect some some resources Hopefully nobody hates you uh, because it's very easy to be hated as a jumper in a server because they're, they're, they know you're going to be leaving their server and you have nothing to offer any of them there because you don't really care about that server. That's just the one you're going to be leeching off of pretty much. Um, that's just how it goes. Um, so uh, so they don't like you automatically. So, But no hard feelings. You're going to be fighting them in KVK anyway. Regardless of if they know what that means or not, they're going to see you. They're going to have to deal with you later on. Um if they still even want to play this game. They'll probably get zeroed or something and quit and go find a new game to whine on and stuff like that and pretend like they know how to play. But, uh, there's, there's like, I, I would say there's many ways to play this, but there's two major ways to play this. There's um, a, a, a free-to-play. So, you know, mainly this, this started out being something for free players and then Spenders found it and pretty much perfected it. So, uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys mostly the free way, um, uh, probably mostly the spender way because I'm I, I use it in the spending way. Um, so, but but I'm going to be telling you guys as much as I can about the freeway. The freeway, like the highway, anyway. The freeway. What you do is that minimum stuff. Send your hero out. Boom. There he goes. Then um, make sure to always come into your trials and you know collect any of the gems that you can collect here. Uh, do your solo trials. Uh, and there's an advertisement that pops up in your alliance trials and, and your solo trials. But do your alliance and your solo trials, at least one of them, the best one that you can do every day. Just get it going so that the next time you log on, you have something to claim in here. You don't have to sit there and wait, especially if you're not going to be focusing on your jumper. If you have a big account and you just want to keep playing and you want to just see what a jumper is all about, a good thing to do is just get some stuff stacked up on there while you're not using it and just the minimum. And then come into the shop collect these bun this little chaos chest here this top one is free uh every six hours or whatever as much as you can and then come to the warp stone little gym area 
you're gonna have like a, a video you can watch there get you free 20 and then you go around your base and stuff and you collect these little gems that are just laying around here just do that <clears throat> and then um and then log off and then the next day or whatever and then go on your big account and have some fun and then if you do that right before you get on your big account and spend all, all day on it you'll just be stacking up some you know pretty minuscule things on here you'll have a head start on everybody else once if you decide to jump to another server or you can just eventually convert it into a farm it doesn't really matter it's how, up, up to you how do you want to play so <clears throat> that's like a bare minimum if you're just like thinking you want to get into it but <clears throat> that doesn't really get you far you'll be sitting for like 10 years trying to do that especially if you're not putting any money on it if you're just doing that type of stuff and the reason why i say go hit those monsters is because you get gear and stuff uh, well you can craft gear after a while anyway so the main thing you're really going to do is i would recommend going to the, the store and or the, the google play and getting you an auto clicker because this this makes it so much easier you get an auto clicker and that's what those buttons are on the screen that you saw there and uh, i'll demonstrate how that works so what you do is you really want to be coming to your events and challenges and the best thing for you to do is try to rank you want to rank but you don't have to as long as you get this this stuff down here the tier the tier rewards see i, I would really be going hard right now try, trying to get to at least 51 to 100 because 150 gems are right there but i already got 50 here so i'm not you know too worried about it i might still push because where i'm at i'm at number 256 i can really still push and make that if i really really wanted to but um uh, and and it's and that's just an uh, um a case like that like that's just a matter of me opening up this auto clicker and setting my phone down and letting it do it by itself because i'm not going to sit there and do it all day i did that on game of war and i won't do it anymore but when i found out about this auto clicker on game of war i stopped doing it myself <laughs> anyway so now i just technically can't do it because i just don't have the patience um so i do it when i sleep and i do it like like when i'm doing other shit but anyway so you want to do these events um uh, and and you want to do as many of these events as you can and and pretty much being a jumper you'll be you 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 can basically have as many things to do on your jumper all day long as someone that uh, as your regular account you know so anyway make sure you're having some troops being built or trained train your troops up uh, as the jumper you know you get them trained up because those are sometimes a part of the uh quest or the, the the events over there and make sure you don't train any more troops than you can heal see i just got attacked because people are going to come attack you because they they're fear what they don't understand they're mad at it and everything like that but that's okay <clears throat> because you technically they, they technically can't zero you as long as you have um as, as long as you uh have enough room inside of your beds so I can fit 150,000 troops in there. There's only 5,000 troops in there. I only had like five or 10,000 troops. So technically, I'm already zeroed before anybody ever attacks me. But if I were to have, you know, 10 million troops and then somebody came and killed off all my troops and then I only had 140,000 left, that would be a technical zero. You know, so yeah, I got zeroed if I had 10 million troops and then they came and took my troops away down to, to 150,000. Um, that's because they can't kill those troops. So that's why you keep your troops below your uh, hospital count when you're a jumper. Um, so just do that because they'll keep attacking you and attacking you. Don't use your resources and stuff because um, because if you use your resources, like just keep your resources, you know, stacked up inside of your um, thing over here inside of your inside your pack here. And um and you know just keep it up i mean me personally if i need the resources for like doing my research search or something and at this level sometimes i'll do it because i do spend uh that's just because i don't care uh like I, I plan on being a jumper for a while and stacking up a whole bunch anyway and spending a whole bunch when i jump anyway so i, I plan to spend any, anywhere from five hundred dollars to like maybe a thousand uh on jump day <clears throat> and that's just you know out of tradition that <laughs> and, and for good measure so you just have in case there's some new crap that they uh, unlocked or or updated you have a whole bunch of packs um new of new packs so anyway but that's that's not how you have to play as a jumper real the real goal is to stack up these gems as high as you can but really it gets it's hard to stack them up because you really want to get to um, vip 9 so uh, i just got to vip 
um, 9. I mean, you want to get to VIP 10, I mean. But you want to get to VIP 9, really. I mean, 10. I'm sorry. I just got to VIP 9 yesterday because uh, uh, I spent all my gems. So, uh, and it took about 30-some thousand gems from level 7 or level 6. Yeah, level 7 VIP, maybe. I think it was level 7 or level 5. I mean, not five. Level six or seven VIP to level nine takes about thirty-four or something thousand gems or warp stones uh, to get to level nine, and then it takes about the same amount to get from there to um, level ten. So you want to get level ten so that you can come and instantly complete your solo trial, so you don't have to wait those minutes. And then, I mean, level nine does solo trials, and then level ten unlocks your alliance trials. Uh, you want to keep your base at level seven. If you if you move your base past level seven, then um, you will not be able to jump out of the server because you will lose your new player relocate. So you want to keep your new player relocate so that you can jump out of the server. You jump out of the server by going to the map and coming into these regions, and then you search for a region to go to. Uh, and you visit it. And once you visit it, you can see other places, and you can actually tap anywhere and, you know, relocate. It says relocate right there, and I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to some random, some random server. So basically, what you do is you go to a new server, a brand new server, like one that just got released, so that everybody there is new, and you have all this stuff that you stacked up for however long you sat. And been the jumper, or, or however long you um, were actually uh, spending for. So, being a free jumper, you're really gonna want to try hard at getting these, um, at, get, at getting these quests and trying to rank in them. Like you want to rank. You want to rank. If you can rank number one, you're you're like going hard, or either you have a really good computer that can just blue stacks the crap out of this. But yeah, you can do this on blue stacks, so you can have your phone available. You know, if you have a computer, go on blue stacks and just get like an auto clicker, and then just open the game up and just let it do it all day. Uh, I do I do uh, warn you though, keep your resources and all your crap inside of your crap in your inventory back here, just because people are gonna attack you. But as long as you're not putting your in I mean, using your the stuff you paid for to like repair your base and stuff. Don't use, don't use your items and stuff to repair your troops or, or whatever. Like to to heal your troops. Don't use that. Just just go on the map and set up your auto clicker to do something like this. See, my auto clicker is going to automatically make me attack somebody. And and if you want me to make a video on how to get this auto clicker set up for you, uh, and and exactly how this schematic goes, I'll show you. But this basically goes like this. And then they'll, they'll just go and attack. But here, I'll send a march out so I can actually show you because I actually attacked a monster for you guys that I just saw. I attacked a monster, which wasn't supposed to be part of the video. Well, it was supposed to be a part of the video. Anyway, so we're going to do this stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna send a march and then I'll and I'll show you guys this after it's done. So, but I'm gonna go talk about something else while it happens. Um, so while that march is going out, I'll show you how the thing works, how the bot works for that. So what you do, the way that you, the real um, act, the real events that you want to be focusing on are gain champion XP <coughs> and conquest. You know, because if you come down to conquest, it'll say gain one power and then it also has uh, gain one champion experience. And you know, defeat foes. That's a that's a pretty that's a pretty easy one too because you can go and um, attack those guys, um, those little monster things. But you got to be in alliance to get stuff for, like like your your gifts. And uh, that's another thing. If you want to be a quick, oh yeah, I already told you guys that. Anyway, there's there's little spoils down there you get from your alliance uh, as you're um, sitting and people buy packs and killing monsters and doing events. Anyway. Uh, so in my previous video, I did say level five was the, uh, or level six was the cap that you can be. It's actually level seven. So, uh, make sure all your stuff in your, in your, in your, um, base is like max level seven. 
in there just because you know you may as well have it all maxed out and um come over here to your you know make sure you have one builder open so that you can do your rebuild trick the rebuild trick is basically instant build it and then you upgrade it instant build instant build instant build instant build go out of it check it out it went to five so i got five of them demolish boom all right after that you do it again just instant build upgrade instant build instant build instant build instant build and if you look down here that number went up each time so chaos champion xp and power we're getting points for our um conquest and for our hero xp or champion xp and for the gain power events so that's cool um when they start so anyway after you've um completed your event i mean i would recommend putting it on an auto clicker so i'll open up my auto clicker and show you guys how that works so here goes my auto clicker uh load so that's attack so we'll do a, a, a warhammer fast mode load and you're gonna have to do some tweak um some tweaking of these numbers or or, or these timings of these taps because it's not um, it's not, it's not like always going to be the same amount of time because sometimes your phone might, you know, have a frame skip or something like that. But so I'm not pressing anything. I'm just letting it do the thing with the green things. I mean, you don't have to leave the green things up. You can close the green things as well, but, um, I just, I just did something weird. Hold on. Okay. So. All right, oh wait, hold on. You gotta make sure that you don't screw it up. So anyway, I'm gonna close. I use the I close the green things with my pen. My pen um, interrupts the auto clicker. So if you have a Samsung Nine uh, Galaxy Note thing, don't don't use your pen with the clicker while it's doing it, or else it'll stop it, or it'll just like interfere with it. That's a good little thing to know. <clears throat> so anyway. This phone is great though, by the way. It's really awesome. <laughs> I recommend it. I recommend getting the Note 10 when it comes out. I recommend getting the Note 11 when it comes out. <laughs> because if it's anything better than this, it's like the best. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's see. So yeah, that, you guys see what ha what's happening there. I'm not pressing anything. I'm, you know, just letting this thing go. I'll, I'll go to sleep like this and just let this happen. But you know, Make sure you have enough resources to do this or else you'll wake up with no gems because you will you will have spent your gems. So, because it'll say instant train, you don't have it, want to just use your gems for it? Okay, bling, 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 bling. So, um, if, if that's the case, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to be smart. You know, you're going to have to come on down here and you're going to have to see where, where's your last one. Your last dot is going to be number nine. So you're going to have to, if you know that you're going to be asleep for eight hours and you only got 100,000 resources and 100,000 resources takes eight hours to go away. If you do it at eight seconds, then you better put that at seven seconds or, or 10 seconds or whatever adjusts to your sleeping schedule, you know? So, so like if, if you need, if you know that you're not going to have enough resources all throughout the night, if this is just going back to back to back, put like 20 seconds in between each time it does it. So after it goes through all of those, number nine, Boom, boom, boom. Once it reaches number nine, number nine will wait again to finish its its task and then move back onto the number one tab right here. So you'll put you'll put those seconds in between. And if you do that, um, then you'll have resources when you wake up. You will you won't have spent your gems. Um, you can also do that for oh yeah, like I said, did I did I screw it up again? Okay, I didn't screw it up. All right, so we're gonna go back on the world map and I'm gonna show you guys that auto attacking thing because the auto attacking thing comes in handy if you if you get if you get attacked and they steal all your resources, boo hoo, whatever. They stole a whole bunch of resources that you stole, so I mean it doesn't really matter. Like you're gonna get some more resources. Don't worry about your stats. Nobody cares about the stats, especially when you are running the kingdom or, or the region when you jump to that new place. They're gonna be like, why did you lose so much? And you're gonna be like, it doesn't really matter because I'm the king here, or whatever the heck. <laughs> you know, so um, so that's that's how I play. So I don't spend my money on shields because buying shields it, it is waste money, but if you're a free player, um, you're not gonna be able to afford the shields anyway. 
so anyway, what you want to do is um, is get just stack up your shields in your um, in your teleports. But I don't I don't I don't say buy shields. I wouldn't buy them. Um, I would just let people hit you, and then um, I mean, yeah, you you do kind of want to stay shielded if you're free to play though, uh, because it's gonna be take you a lot longer to jump because you're gonna keep getting emptied out, and you're gonna um, just you you can't make enemies if you're not gonna spend on your jumper. Um, <clears throat> but I recommend when anybody wipes you out, like like basically puts all your troops in the hospital and injures your hero and stuff like that. You know, just just wait wait for them things to, to come back. You got all the time in the world. The game's not going anywhere. Uh, got all the time in the world. Just let them come back. And then um, hopefully they hit you so much that you teleport out and get a free shield. Whatever. Hopefully they do that. Um, so, but if they don't, whatever. You know, once you get your another teleport, just teleport somewhere else. It'll, it'll take them a few more days to find you again. Then you can get back to your stuff. Um, then... Uh, uh, that's pretty much how, how you do. You just don't use the, your items. Don't use your resources that are in your items. Because then if you do, then you're letting them steal your money. And, you know, that's just dumb. So go steal from others so that it can be stolen from you when you haven't used it all. Um, but I recommend trying to use it up before it does get stolen. Sometimes it'll get stolen in the middle of you trying to stack up and you might be asleep while you're stacking because you do an auto-clicker and you wake up and everything's ruined and it's like, oh, oh well... Looks like looks like they got me that night. Well, you'll you'll teleport out of there eventually. But um, here goes the uh, auto clicker for the other one. Fast mode. We got attack. Okay, so here it goes. And if and if people want to complain about how long the video is, you're going to be playing this game for way longer than you're going to watch this video so it's good to get a little bit of information if people get and if people give you guys problems in there you know don't even, don't even worry about it because you know what it is a funny thing when people don't believe you and then you show them that it was true but they're on the end like they're on the butt end of the whole um proof stick so they so they 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 have to like pretty much beg you to stop raping them every day so anyway here goes the auto Because as a jumper, like it's arguably the most powerful way to play. It just really is, it's, if you think about it. Because I'll explain to you exactly why it's so powerful. Because your goal as a jumper is to get your VIP as high level as possible. But first, how it goes as a jumper, get your VIP to level ten. And if you want, you can sit there and wait for a very long time and 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 spend and spend and spend and spend to get your VIP up. But I don't highly, I don't, I don't recommend spending too much on your jumper because a lot of these games will offer you better packs as you get higher level you know so as you get higher and higher levels sometimes better packs are um given so um so so sometimes it's, it's beneficial for you to only spend you know a small amount maybe maybe you, you don't you don't care like like me, I'll I'll be spending as much as I want. That's just how I am. I like to play games, and I'll just stack up what I can't, what they allow me to stack up right now. But I'll mostly be doing the jumper the right way, just so that it's um um that's just so that I do what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get my hero level up or my champion level up. So so basically, get your VIP up to level ten, and then once you get it to level ten, there from there you can start on your hero or your champion. You want to get him leveled up so high um, that because I've done it in game of, in game of war before. Uh, level five was the cap there, and I know it works on here too uh, because I did it to somebody else on here. Um, uh, I was level I was level level five, and then some level nineteen person decided he was super tough, and he was like, I don't know, maybe maybe a million power to my. Um, I want to say like 900,000 power or whatever at that time. And he hit me and then he, I, all I did was smoke. He lost all his troops and, and I, and I beat him. I was like, whoa, this stuff really works. It's, it's really cool and funny when people think that they can beat you, but they don't really understand the concept of the game. At this point, I can't really take that much of a hit because my troop, I don't have, I don't even have like 10% of my, um, my troop capacity yet. Once you get 100% of your troop capacity, it's going to be pretty hard for people 
um, that are not paying this game, if they're not paying this game, then they're not going to be able to really beat you. Um, like, this is not going to happen. They're not going to even have enough troops to send on a march for that. It just won't happen. Um, but people are going to be coming to hit me constantly just because, you know, that's just what it is. People don't like jumpers. People don't like me on these games because I'm the guy who told them about the jumpers and they're just mad because they spent their money already. But that's okay. In about a year, everybody will be jumpers. They'll be everybody will have a jumper to sell. Everybody will have a jumper to um, to to jump with. They'll have two jumpers. They'll have three jumpers. This is how it goes. Eventually, jumpers become a commodity, and the person with the best jumper can sell their jumper for the highest amount. And people will be like, "All right, I got this jumper." But anyway, see, so he just went on a mission again to go attack. That's how it goes. All right, so you guys saw that. Get it set up that way. Um, so, basically, to run it back down for you guys, you guys want to be doing these challenges over here by doing that rebuild thing. So, if it says gain champion XP or gain power or this conquest right here, uh, you guys want to be re uh, you you want to deconstruct your training ground because that gives you the most power. It gives you the most power and it gives you the most um, hero experience. So just have that going on your auto clicker until that's completed. Make sure that you have the resources for it. Uh, come here to the solo trials, collect all your solo trials. Come here to your alliance trials, collect all your alliance trials. Do your daily trials, collect all these things that you get in your quest, and always collect your daily your daily login bonus. Log in daily to get the most out of a jumper. Um, your bundles right here. You're going to want to, you know, get get the chaos chest that's right here. It happens every six hours. And you're going to want to watch your video. It gives you 20 gems every time. And you stack those up, and then you do your events, like I said, and then you can get gems and stuff. If you do this right, you can get anywhere. Like, if you do it real good, you can get anywhere from 3,000 to about 10,000 gems a week. Um, if, if you're doing it just, you know, like, you know, casually, uh, or, or if you're doing it right, that I would have to say right. If you're doing it right, you can get about three to ten thousand. If you're going real hard, just going in, you could probably get about twelve to fourteen thousand, maybe gems every week. That's if you're like really going hard and you don't have anything else to do. Um, because this auto this auto clicker, you will have to look at it every now and then. Maybe something happened or the server reset. Or something like that. And then you'll have to restart it. Maybe you were asleep for two hours while it wasn't doing anything. And shit just happens. But anyway. Um, from there. What you do is. Um, well, yeah. But that's pretty much it for a jumper. Um, besides. Uh, oh yeah. So what. Your, your main thing is. Your jumper needs to be. Uh, your champion needs to be set on economics so have them come into construction you want them on construction and then you want them on rituals so i'm going to be resetting mine because all my rituals for my jumper is done because you want to make sure that your rituals which is your research on this game so down here you want to make sure all that's maxed out for your level seven and um i only have one more thing to do and it's monster bane it's taking two days and six hours i don't care about that uh, because my monster, my my hero is already pretty, pretty strong when when it comes to attacking those monsters. But uh, from there, yeah. So my my hero is already like his his research is already um, my research is maxed. So I'll be resetting these skill points. It does cost a little bit, costs a thousand. So just make sure you guys you know have have been farming or either buy a pack and that's what I'm gonna be doing probably is buying a pack uh, just because like for my reset skills and everything I buy packs for that stuff because I, I need to have gems so that I can uh, maneuver myself within battle <laughs> so uh, I buy gems for my skill reset but I, I recommend that if you're gonna be if you're trying to do jumpers in a way to where it's like cheaper and stuff uh, and not just for the power just wait till you have the gems to change it you know, wait till you stack up the gems to change it. Um, but that sucks because those gems that you you had, that you spent on that, could have been used to level up your prestige. And that's how you do it. You know, you know, you go you go level up your prestige. And there's another way you can level up your prestige as well. So, and I'll and I'll tell you that in a moment. So, um, get your construction up. Try to 
play around with your construction stats to see how much of those construction boosts you need in order to um, in order to use your free your instant upgrade and your instant upgrade for your build trick so you do your build trick so that you can get your instant upgrade um, how you need it so you can go as much as you can and then you can do that like that do some math in there and see what's what is the best level for you to stop at and during the upgrade sometimes for, for the event the best thing for you to do is just to build it don't upgrade it just demolish it build it because of the, the resource exchange for the um, for whatever it is you're getting so you're going to want to have these set right. You set it for construction uh, and rituals while you need it. And then you reset it. You uh, leave a little bit on construction. And then uh, I recommend bringing it all the way down here to Exalted Presence so that you can get some stuff on the, uh, on the what's it called? Uh, when you go to tiles and stuff, you can get, you can get items more likely. Uh, and then come on down to... If you're if you're on economics, um, you come down to construction too, and keep going that up so you can try it even further to get your um, try to get it all the way up to level seven for free instant, which probably won't happen. But still, you you get, you get it up there as high as you can. Experiment, find out where it goes, and then after that, after the construction thing, and you figure that out, you can just allocate the rest of these to. Um, I recommend allocating them over here in your your um, battle section. Just because, like, you're not going to be, like, a, a real big factor while you're small, but people are going to want to hit you, and you just, anything you can get, you know. Now, if you know that, that you're going to be um, okay without many of these construction boosts over here, like, because you'll be able to take off all this, all this on the side here, because um, all this on the right-hand side is all economics, and everything on the left-hand side is combat. So what you're going to do is you take off everything from the economics and then you'll just leave a little bit of construction. And I highly recommend a little bit of construction, the minimum amount you need, and then just go down this thing getting defense, defense, defense. Max all your defense production and everything like that. Your goal is to be able to try to fill these slots up, um, get a maxed out champion before you jump. That's just what it is. You're trying to get a maxed out champion. And even if there's no event to do, you can just do that rebuild trick to get to farm your hero champion or your champion experience points. You could just be leveling up your champion while you're not doing anything. You can go to sleep and just, all right, I just want to level up my champion some more. I know there's no event, but I'm going to level up my champion. I'm going to level it up. And the, every time you build it, you give it a little bit of experience points. It doesn't move very far because you need tons of experience points, but you're going to be playing this game for a long time anyway. So who cares? Have a regular account that you go off and play big with. You know, that's what we all do. We, we all do that. And then um, have your jumper that you're working on. Yeah, you're not going to be the beast in your first server just because, you know, you're still trying to learn the game. I, I do that on every game. I, I go and make a, a, an account, and I try to figure out. I just do everything wrong. I just go do wrong shit. And it's like, all right, yep, wasn't supposed to, wasn't supposed to do that. Nope, mm -mm, wasn't supposed to do that. Make sure I don't do that on my real account, you know, so... It's, it, it's smart to have two accounts at least. I got about four, so that's gonna be. You know, this is this is this is mainly my tester account to see to see what I'm like. This is the one I plan on fucking up on. I plan on fucking up on this account because I know whenever I go into a game and I'm learning it and I'm trying to find the ways around things that I always fuck up on the first one. So. Um, you know that's the process of learning so that's why you make multiple jumpers at a time so just in case you mess it up uh other than that you guys there is still one more thing that i will show you um just make sure uh you know it doesn't really matter if 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 you guys get attacked i want to reiterate that again you know uh, re again uh if someone attacks you and they just wipe you out remember you're not wiped out all your troops are right here. You still have all your troops. Boom. And as long as you keep underneath that 150,000 troops, you'll be fine. You just got to go out and do that little auto gather from those people that you attack and to heal those troops and just wait for them to be healed. Don't worry about being attacked. That's what a jumper is. You're going to get attacked if you're a jumper or not. The worst thing is, is being big and all that shit and paid all that money or spent all that time training all those troops, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks training, training 40,000 troops or whatever, 
and, and then somebody comes to you in like two seconds and wipes you out. All right. You can be a level 15, a level 10, a level 9, a level 12, 14, 18. And you can play that way. That's cool. Because I play that way too. But I also have a jumper. <laughs> and so it's it's just... You just when you play these games, just know you're going to be getting wiped out, especially if you're not the top spender in the in the um, or up there.